my name is Abhin Vendi and let's continue with the series on Python. Now we know how to work with class and object, right? And we have also seen how can you create a variable inside an object. Of course, right, every object should know something. But when it comes to variable, in OOPS, we have two different types of variable. The first one is a instance variable and the second one is a class variable or you can call them as static variables. What is the difference between them? Now think about this. Let me just remove this code. Okay, whatever we have done till now. So let me just clean this up. Okay, so we'll, we'll start from a plain slate. So here, let's go with another weird example. Let's take a class called as car. Okay, so we all love cars, right? So let's say we have a class car. And of course, every car will have different variables, right? Of course, you can mention the company name, you can mention the type of engine you're working with and the mileage, what it gives you. So we have different variables. Okay, so what I will do is if I want to use those variables here, we need to use a function which is in it. So you will say in it function and in this you can define those variables right i can say self dot mileage and i will say mileage is let's say 10 and then i will say the company so company would be let's say bmw any random company them doesn't matter so we have these two values right now these two variables are called as instance variables so when you talk about mileage and com these are instance now why these are instances because as your car changes as the object changes this value also change by default the value is 10 and bmw but you can change it right example we have done that before just to give you a glimpse i will say the first one is c1 and this is car that's my first object i got c2 which is again a car that is we got c1 c2 now we got two different objects and both the objects will have different variables right different area for the variables and now if i print the value so i will say c dot com and i also want to print c1 dot mileage so i want to print both uh, for the both the variables so you can see we got c1 com c1 mileage c2 com c2 mileage that's perfect and now if i run this code of course it will print same values because they are same but can we change it yes we can so i will say if i change for c1 so let's say c1 dot uh, mileage so let's say c1 mileage changes from 10 to let's say 8 this is what happens you know with some cars and let's run this code you can see the value is changing now so of course both the objects are different and they will have different values but what if i want to create a variable which is common for all the objects of course these variables which are instant variable they are different for different objects right if you change one object it will not affect other objects what if you want to have a variable which will change it will affect all other objects example the number of wheels in a car is four right by default is four right but what if in future we got a new concept and they're saying hey now this time we will have five tires or five wheels i don't know why we have five wheels but let's imagine in this case what you will do is you will define a variable outside in it okay because if you create or if you define the variable inside in it it becomes an instance variable if you define a variable outside in it and inside a class of course it becomes a class variable let's say let's say wheels so let's say wheels are by default four of course will be four right and if i print the wheels as well now how do you print wheels the way you can print is very simple you can say c one dot wheels and here as well i'll say c2 dot wheels and let's run this code now and you can see we got the output we got four and four so if you want to access wheels you can use say c1 dot wheels and c2 dot wheels so instead of using the object name we can also use class name because see if you talk about mill and com it is specific to the object right but that's not the case with wheels wheels is common to all the objects so every object can share the same value of it so we can use object name or we can use class name both works so you're getting value four right what if you want to to change the value of it if you want to change a value you can come here and you can change the value see what happens you know in your memory you have different namespace now what is namespace the place where you create an object or the variables that was namespace so we have two type of namespace one is class namespace where you will store all the class variables and then we have a instance namespace where you will create all the instance variable so these variables which is mill and com they are instance right so they will belong to instance namespace this wheel belongs to class namespace right so if you want to work with wheels if you want to modify it you have to use a class name you have to say car dot wheels and you can assign the value to five now the moment you change the value for wheels it will affect all the objects right because they are shared so this wheel is shared between all the objects and now on this code you can see the output is five and five so that's your class variable so the point to remember is we have two type of variables instance variables and class variables or in fact class variables also called as study variables so that's from this video i hope you enjoyed let me know in the comment section if you have any more questions and in the next video we'll talk about different types of methods so stay tuned that's it everyone Bye bye